about how we can find a uh, uh, superior of a particular position ID. This is very important in workflows, especially, especially on the HR front as well as any other workflows because uh, workflow is most of the workflows are dialogue arc items and positions are the way to go because a position ID is always permanent. A personal ID is always temporary. So if you build your workflow agent determination based on position, it would be less work because if the person leaves or he moves to another uh, place, another place in the company, those work item can be re-executed and will be assigned to the correct position, person who is holding the current position. So if you go to PFAC or PFAC underscore DIS, that's the transaction. And here you have to put the number 157. And here if I select, and if you see, this is the function module you can use. Okay. And here you can just see, I'll just show you. So suppose I put this one and I select with S. And here you can see all these are the managers. Okay. Now if I select one of them, it will have a different manager so this is very easy you have two options you can use this function module directly to find it if you're writing an ABAP code or there's another function module that you can use it's SE37 I go and I'll I still remember I think it's RH get something actor and you go function and this is the this is the function module you can use to to so in that function module what you are going to do is you define the particular rule okay the rule would be the the 157 you put here and you pass the container element and that's it you'll get exactly the answers that we got it from here okay so if i put here if you see i put this and I put the position doc type is S for position and here I get the manager. If I click further since this position is not maintained with anyone then uh, they are not getting further. So if I click on this if you see here I get all these position and if I click on agent user I get all the user ID associated with it. So this is very handy when you are doing workflow development and workflow design. So that's it for this tutorial. Stay tuned to my channel and happy SAP learning.